Welcome. And for now, I'm using an iPad Pro, and today I'll show you how to backup and also restore the device. So this process can be used between multiple different devices. So we can back it up the device, let's say like the tablet right here that I have in front of me, and then restore whatever you have backed up to, let's say an iPhone. So it's universal as long as it's, well, an Apple device. And to get started, you want to get a cable uh, that you usually, usually use for charging, plug it into your computer. And if you have a Mac, then basically you just need to plug it in. If you have a Windows, you will also need to download iTunes. Uh, I already have it, as you can see. And I'm using also Windows, but the process will be exactly the same between Apple, computer and Windows. But, okay, so get started, plug it in. Give it a moment, it will show up on the computer. So as you can see right now, there is a newer version. Now this doesn't really matter. You can update it or not. I'm just gonna cancel it and it's gonna start backing up. So give it a moment. And uh, yeah, the version basically works. Whatever version you have, it will be, the process will be basically the same. Uh, it's more to do with the iTunes on a computer more than, than the version of the device. So you can see it's almost done backing up. Okay, so now when you go to the tablet itself or whatever device you're using it, click right here. As long as you can hear, you have basically the device. And right here, you will have manual backup and restore. So we waited for the backup to finish right here. Otherwise, you can't really press these buttons. They're kind of grayed out. Uh, so you need to wait for the process. And once you actually can click it, all you need to do is just click backup now like so. It's gonna start backing up, so give it a moment. Now also, if I unlock the device, as an example, I have only one app here, which you can see right here. It's basically a game, uh, as an example. And uh, mind you that whatever you have installed will also increase the size of the backup. So for me, it's not just this what is it like two gig file I guess of a game um, basically everything else is just stock so you can lock it and from here once you back it up you can plug in a different device and basically all you can do is just tap restore and you will have multiple devices that you can restore from as long as you backed it up from different devices but for this example there is only one which is this iPod and you'll just select which one to restore like this and then tap on restore. So I could maybe do like a reset of the iPod. So everything is gone and then I could restore it. And you'll see that the, the app is back on the device. So just do a, actually, let me do this. I think it's gonna be easier. So if I remove this from here, because I know how to. There we go. Let's just delete it. Tap on OK. As you can see now, it's gone. So all I could do now is tap on Restore. Then as you can see, it's the restore that we have just done a couple of minutes ago. Tap on Restore. It's gonna start processing. As you can see, restoring iPad from backup. And as you can see, it has been restored. Please leave iPad connected. Load up your iTunes news. Okay. So it's going to reboot. And once it's back on, the app should be back on the device. Do that again. As you can see, restore completed. Continue. Welcome to iPod, get started. Software update later. I said later. Tap on cancel. Disagree, cool. And 
not now. And as you can see, it's processing it. So I'm assuming it's basically installing it at the moment. Now if I go to the Apple Store, let's see if it's actually downloading it or installing. It should say over here. But if you had any kind of like other files, it will basically all be showing up. So I'm assuming it's downloading. But yeah, um, if you had any like files of photos, music and anything else that would be basically loaded on, uh, apps looks like it's just gonna install them again uh, while well, probably keeping all the data that it created back on the device so yeah and that's basically how you would perform a backup and restore of the device and if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching